Hello everybody, I'm back. This is my waffle maker. I made my waffle batter. I'm gonna pour that baby right in there. And I already have my timer set to go. I got it sprayed and everything. Put half a cup in here. Hopefully it's enough. Seems like I'm gonna need a little more actually. YOLO. <laughs> actually, just do a little dab more. And then that's it. Okay. And then bammo. Holy smokes, there is smoke. It's said to expect that. I already burned off all the factory grease. Whenever you get something like this or like a toaster oven, I always run it a few times. Gotta set my timer. Alright, my dog's here to observe because you can tell that something's gonna go wrong. I'd want to watch, but I made my waffle batter. I'll put the link in the description. I chose one without eggs um, and I put my milk away. I chose one without eggs because I um, wanted to have all this batter left for the week. And I chose one with baking powder, not baking soda or yeast because powder, if you have double acting powder, it'll rise both Actually, I didn't think that it was, think about it rising. That's, I made a mistake. Ooh. That's, that's not smoke, that's steam. <laughs> there's, there's a plume rising from my uh, maker. And if there is smoke, then I'll just open a few windows, call 911, cry like a baby. But uh, baking powder, double acting, it'll rise both when it touches the wet ingredients and when it's cooked. And um, soda, baking soda only rises when it touches the wet ingredients, so you'll have flat waffles if you try to make it the next day or the day after. And I'm, I was thinking about that. So um, just know that. And plus eggs are also the most um, perishable item in the waffles. So it'll go bad if I use something that had eggs in it. But... Um, I'm excited, got a minute left to go. I'm gonna hit pause on my recording and then we'll see how this finished product comes out. My timer is almost up. I just wanted to add something real quick for baking tips. Um, the plastic cups like this, they're for solid ingredients like flour, baking powder, and sugar. And the glass measuring cups like this, they're for liquid ingredients like the oil, milk, water, and all the other stuff. But I'll leave the uh, link to both ThinkGeek and to uh, the recipe in the description of this. Something soaked in my paper plate. Oh, I, I have to go grab a fork. <laughs> See, I didn't think I'd get this far. I thought the world would blow up by the, by the point I activated this. All right. So I'm going to drop the metal part. Turn it. Turn it off, this is sketchy. Well, there we go. Unplug for safety. And let's see how this turned out. Oh, oh, oh. looks a little weird. I didn't, I did not put enough in, but that's okay. It's non-stick, so I'm not gonna be scraping it out. That's another great thing about this product. It's not, still not a plug, but, wow, that's big, that's big. Nice waffle. Good waffle. Good waffle. All right. So I proved to you that it works <laughs> and that I work when it comes to making waffles. So thanks for watching. Links are going to be in the description for everything that you would need that's in this video. I'm not sponsored. Um, yeah. Have fun. I love you.